Um, well, uh, I think a number of things happened. Uh, Toss rickets on the right, sort of uh, stretch them a lot, uh, gave room to the midfield so we could pass the ball better. And uh, in, in all honesty, I, I think um, so St. Kitts, they, they run themselves ragged in, in, in the game in St. Kitts. They threw everything at that one game and uh, they felt it tonight. Questions, John? Can you compare the effort and the overall performance compared to what happened last Friday and Thursday? Yeah, there? yeah. different different mindset. Uh, we we came out as I said. I told the players we we owe it. Uh, we owe it to everybody. And um, our, our mentality right from the kickoff was to was to put them under pressure, try and create uh, the opportunities, either secondary opportunities or, or throw our passing, and be a little more composed in front of net. Huh? And um, we, we got the goals, could have, could have had a lot more, um, but, but I'm glad the chances are coming. The selection of Rickett seemed pretty inspired. What made you make that swap for him for Simeon? Um, I, I think he deserves to play. Um, we, we weren't sure how he, would, how he would play if he starts. Uh, he's always come off the bench, but I, I thought it was a good game to, to give him the opportunity in, in front of his home fans. Let him feel, uh, let him feel the, the the pressure of the game a little bit, and, and see how he responds. And he, he was fantastic. Um, coach, you've just finished one leg of a journey. You know, could you assess that phase? You know, look back for us, please. Yeah, I mean, um, un unfortunately for us, or maybe some people might say fortunately, we we started with with one squad uh, had a had a lot of uh, injuries, uh, people not available, and it, it forced uh, players to, to come into the squad. And it took us a little time, you know, it, it's, it's, it's difficult to, to, to come together. I mean, it, we weren't talking one or two changes, I think from first set of games to second set of games with eight players. So, I mean, that's a huge percentage of your squad. Um, but, you know, we, we, knew, we knew that it wasn't going to be smooth sailing. Those of you who have seen the recent scores about teams travelling into other people's uh, yard um, could attest to that. Uh, and uh, I think now we, we, we have a squad that, uh, one, when players come back, it'll create a lot of competition for places. Because some, some young players today show that uh, they, they're here to stay. Do you see any similarities with the situation in 2010 when you were sort of auditioning as many as 50 or so players and now you've got another group in which to draw from? Is it a similar situation? Are the decisions going to be that much more difficult? Uh, it's, it's a, uh, if it's a difficult uh, situation, is one I enjoy yeah? because uh, I'm, I'm happy in 2010 we looked at all those players because if this situation was just thrown upon us, we would not have known who could, who could come in and, and, and play. And um, uh, I think the confidence in, in some of the young players, I mean, David Edgar's performance right through was, has been extremely solid, um, you know, and uh, young Ashton tonight, he, he looked comfortable. Um, so uh, even, even, uh, even Adam Strait and Jonathan Bugo in the midfield, you know, it's now, uh, it's now showing that uh, maybe we, we, we have a little more depth than we, we thought. You're still looking for an everyday right back. What do you take on, on Ledgerwood's performance? Uh, I thought he had a good game today. Um, we, I mean, to, to be fair, uh, he, he had a, a fair bit of room. And we told him if he had the room to get forward on every opportunity he could. Uh, we said the same thing on the left side. And, um, you know, he, he, he did that really, really well, especially in the first half. He caused a lot of problems. Stephen, you guys are off until June now. Uh, what are you guys going to be doing uh, until then? No, we're not off until June. We have a game in February. Um, but, uh, you know, the, the players, uh, they're, they're with their clubs. We're not a team that's, that's in being. And um, I'll, I'll get an opportunity to, to see some of them, and hopefully they'll get back healthy. We'll have a game in February, and then we will start our preparation uh, in June. Looking back at the six games, uh, Stephen, what does the team specifically have to improve and work on before the start of the next round? Well, um, I, I think if you, if you look at uh, if you look at all the games, uh, our, our ball possession at times um, could could be better. Um, tonight, our ball movement was very good in the first half. Um, 
uh, we, we, you know, we're in a situation where we, we're creating chances. I, I still think that that final pass could be a little better measured, and, and we have to take those chances. Um, I mean, you saw some chances tonight that you know should should have been taken. But but as I said, it's a confidence thing, and and um, you know we we'll keep working along those lines. Uh, we gave up one goal in the in the entire uh, series, a magic goal. Um, you know, and uh, I mean, you know, no, no one's talked about that, but uh, you know, five clean sheets, eh? That's not bad. One last question. So um, you're coach, huh? Lars going forward then for the next phase. Sorry. You're, you're confident with Lars as your starting goalkeeper for the next phase. Um, yeah, the, the, the goalkeeping situation now is one of competition, really competition. Um, I, I think Lars has. Uh, has really stepped up his game, but he's been playing every single game back with his club, and that makes a big difference. It's the same thing with Kenny. Um, he's been playing every single game. I got a call from his coach saying he's been fantastic, and now Bohan is also playing uh, regularly. So they're gonna they're gonna push each other. They're gonna push each other. Um, coach, I really, I know you spoke about the game in February, but how many games would like to get in before the next round begins? And are you looking at any more players? Any more players are on your radar? And uh, you can only play on the FIFA dates. We, we, we don't have a situation where we we cannot play on a FIFA date. We don't have enough numbers. Um, so we can only play on a FIFA date. And uh, is there any other players? Yes. Uh, they have to decide if they want to play or not. <laughs>